Hi guys, let's continue with part 7 of the examination system. So guys, uh, in this module, I will take you through how to update the year and also how to update the semester or the term. Guys, if you look at this one, this is term 1. This is the year 2022. So we want to update uh, this year to 2023 and also the for the semester to go to term 2 or term 3. So guys what you need to do is to go to create then you create a query so query design then you use the parent table that is the students so then what you need to do you just go to uh, this part here then you go to where the semester is and where the, the year is so we start by uh, creating an update query to uh, take these guys to term 2 and term 3 and term 1. So after you create the query this way, you just hit on uh, this button here. You hit on update query. Once you do that, this field here, update to, comes over. So you just need to type uh, term 2 like that. Then now you just now save this one as uh, set to term 2. Then after doing that one, you again add copy this query. Now you see how an update query looks like. So you right click, you just go to copy, right click, just go to paste. Then this one, you uh, just call it set to term 3 here. So you remove this one, guys. This is set to term 3. Then you just right click, then go to design view. Then here, you just change this one to uh, term 3 and save. Then uh, right click and cross. Again, guys, go back here, right click, uh, paste. Then go to this point here. This is set to term 1. And then uh, remove that one. Then uh, save it as term 1. So uh, after doing that, if you go to the parent table, that is the students, you see guys, we are in term one, but now we want to take the student to term two. So you just need to double click this one, and then you'll get a message that um, you are about to learn an update query that will modify data in your table. So you just click on yes. Then Microsoft Access will inform you about the number of uh, records or rows that you are about to update so this means i have 53 records so i just click on yes so guys when i refresh here then go to this one you see now it has updated my student to term two that means again if i go back to this point and double click term three i click on yes i still need to update 53 rows so i click on yes then i just refresh so guys, you see it's working. It has taken all my students to term 3. So guys, let's see how to update the year. So you just need to go to uh, this point here. Uh, here, create, then uh, query design. Then this time round, you, you still use the parent table students. Then I bring this up here. I need to update the year. So I just go to the current year. You can also include the semester, though I will not use it. So again, you just go up here and hit on update. Then this field appears update to here. So I need to update the year to the next year. That means increment by one. That means 2022, 2022 plus one. That's what happens. So this becomes, uh, you just type the field. The field is uh, current year current year plus one that is the function that i will use there therefore uh if now i save this one save this one therefore this is update year upwards upwards so guys uh just one just okay there is another here so i just remove that one then i save Therefore, that is update year upwards. So if I cross this one, guys, uh, if you check on this, we are in the year 2022. 
So if I go back to my query here, I update here, I double click, then I click on yes. Again, I am affecting 53 records. So that when I click on yes, you see, uh, still we are in the we are in the year 2022. So if I refresh, uh, if I refresh this one, you see now guys have been taken to uh, 2023. So I want 2023 term one. So I just come here, double click, set to term one. Then I click on yes and then refresh. So that means, uh, okay, sorry, I have clicked term two. I want to need uh, to go to term one. So we just right click, go to the side view. Uh, term one should be one here. Term one, I save that one. So when I run the query that way, I click on yes, then I just cross it, uh, then I refresh. Notice that I am in 2023 term one. Also, guys, you may need to downgrade or go back to previous year, just like we are uh, working with the term one, term two in a, a cyclic manner. So I need to go back to 2022. So I just go to uh, update year upwards, copy, right click, paste, paste. Then this one becomes now, uh, this becomes update year downwards. That is, that is update year downwards. Then after doing that, uh, I now go to design view update years downwards right click go to the sign view so this becomes minus one this becomes now current year minus one you deduct one so if the year was 2023 that becomes 2023 minus one and for that case i just save it then run the query remember uh, here we are in the year 2023 so if i run update the year downwards guys like that i'll just run it First of all, just cross it. I just run this one by double clicking, then accept. Then I just refresh. You notice that my ear goes back to uh, 2022. So guys, um, the part seven was all about how to upgrade students to the next class and also uh, probably how to that is the semester, sorry, and the year. Then on the other hand, uh, we need to upgrade the students to the next class. So I just go to this point here. I just go to create, then uh, query design. Then from this juncture here, I just double click students. I want to use students. I want to upgrade the students to the next class. So uh, I will bring the form, I will bring the class here. Then just go up here and hit update query. Then update to this one. If a student is in form one, it will be form one plus one. So he goes to form two. If he was in form two, it is form two plus one. That becomes he goes to form three. So guys, I just need to copy this. So control uh, C, then I just put it inside the square brackets. That is student form plus one. Then I save. So this is update students to the next class. I save. So guys, if I go to this point here, you see now the student number one is in form one, student number two is in form two. So we expect this to be form two, form three. So just go to uh, this point here. I just double click, upgrade uh, students to the next class. So I accept so i accept so guys after doing this see what will happen here you see now once i refresh uh, this guy has been taken to form two this guy has been taken to uh, form three that means um our students have been promoted to uh, the next class you can also need to uh, demote them because of one reason or the other for example if you clicked update students uh, by mistake so you just copy this again paste it paste uh, this is now uh, to the previous class that is the de grade to previous to previ previous class so this is the uh, uh, grade students to previous class
class. So guys, what you need to do is just to go to um, right click, design view, then this becomes minus one. That is student uh, uh, form minus one. That means uh, if I run it, the guys will be taken back to the class they were previously in. So I just do that, click on yes. Uh, then if I click here, guys, you see now it has updated. This student has been taken back to the previous class. So guys, remember to subscribe. Remember to visit my website. The URL is uh, just down uh, below this video so that you can be in a position to, uh, that is to get more and also you can be in a position to uh, download uh, some of the databases for free. Guys, thank you very much.